If you're going to be changing the filter head, go ahead and do a quick mark on each line just so you don't make a mistake. All right, so we're going to be removing both of the lines right now. Now to do that, you can get a small spanner wrench. You don't have to. I'm using it just for visual so you can see what I'm doing. You can be pushing up against that blue ring and as you push, you pull slowly. So you push first, then pull and they do come out. All right, so this section guys is going to be for if you're changing or you're dissecting or trying to figure out if the filter head is bad. So if your valves, if they're working correctly and your problem is the filter housing, which is the piece that houses your water filter, what we're doing now, we're connecting a quick connect and that's gonna basically bypass your filter. And if all is well, you should get water in the door and that tells you that your filter housing is bad you replace that again there you go all right one more time beautiful okay nothing now we're gonna re-disconnect this guy and see if we get water out of this side so. okay press for me Beautiful. All right, stop. Beautiful. So we have water. Is so water up there. Yeah. Look. Yeah. So that tells you that the filter head. As you can see, we are flowing water. So water is going through the filter head or filter housing, going down, but it's not making its way to the front. Beautiful. Press it again. Keep pressing. All right, stop. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna reconnect back the filter head. I don't think the problem is the filter head at all. Go ahead and press. Okay. All right, stop. I'll tell you when to press, hold on. Do you have a cup for me as well? So, go ahead and press again. Oh, huh. interesting. So, nothing from this valve. Okay. All right, pause. All right. So, this valve is working. I think we might have a bad valve. All right, hold on. Okay, press. All right, stop. All right, so, what it goes in goes up through the filter, should, and should come through this guy. But he is not. And this guy, let's check this dude. Theory. It should be firing. All right, one more time. All right, so we're flowing. Stop. Okay, so if he's flowing, yeah, give me another cup if you have. Press again. Okay, pause. All right. All right, so water's coming in nicely. 
this in to feed the rest of the valve. Okay, goes in, feeds this guy for the door. But this valve is not responding. So, that's the ice. Yeah. One more time. Okay, press again. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we got a leak though. Not sure why. Plug in. Press again. Okay. All right. One. All right, press for me. Yep, 120 volts. So, so the board is supplying power to the valve. The valve is bad. Okay. That's what that is. Um, it's not a filter head. Apparently that's the most used side. All right, guys, so we're putting this back together. I could have done a quick bypass for the customer, but they did not want to use the city water unless it went through the filter. So we are going to be back to replace the water valve. So the issue is a bad valve. Now, we were able to determine that the filter housing was not at fault based on the water flow that we were getting. It was the same as when we did the bypass. Now, that is one way of determining whether you have a good filter head is to use a 516. It's a quick connect and you just put that in line, remove the two lines from the filter housing or filter head and splice it. So you're now taking that out of circuit. And if you press the door and you get water, then you would replace the filter head. In this case, we still weren't getting any water. And as you can see, our left side of the valve is getting power, but it's not opening. So it's not taking the water from the main head, which is the front of the valve. That's the main feed. And when you activate the door or the ice maker activate the ice valve, it gets a signal and water is supplied. So the left side was not letting water in. So that's a bad side. So the left side of the valve feeds water to the front and it was not doing that comes in from the valve after it goes in through the valve comes in back and feeds the front and it was not doing that so i might include the video of the installation and maybe call it part two if not then you know what to do based on this there's no other reason why the unit would not be making or I should say letting water in the ice maker as well, as well was acting up and I found out it was clumping up which means the valve on the ice maker side was actually bad as well so the valve has been acting up previously so all right guys um, that pretty much covers that thanks for watching and I guess I will do a part two when I do install the valve.